you ahead of Labor Day Monday. Officials in Point Capee want people to be safe on the water. News News' Alexis Marini reports. Sylvia, the best part about Labor Day for a lot of folks is hanging out on the water with family and friends. I caught up with Sheriff Renee Thibodeau. He says it's best to do it safely. Just in time for Labor Day, folks are already hitting the False River. So it's a, a lot of things you can do in the river. A lot of people get in the water just to cool off. But whether your Labor Day weekend includes fishing or a boat ride... Just be careful. It's important to keep your head straight this Labor Day. Have somebody as a lookout and pay attention. You know, if a child falls off of a, a inner tube, uh, make sure you're a safe distance from them. Especially with so many folks celebrating. So we do expect a, a big crowd. It, it gets bigger every year. Getting on the water is so popular, even the ducks are doing it. <laughs> even if the sign says no swimming. And if you weren't born with feathers or webbed feet, staying safe on a river or a lake might not be second nature. But here's some things to keep in mind before you dip your foot into the water to keep cool this Labor Day. So if you have children 16 and under, it's mandatory that they have a life jacket on while the boat is moving, okay? Earlier this year, a three-year-old boy drowned on the False River, and another child was run over by a boat. So we ask everyone to please wear the life jackets. And most importantly, Sheriff Renee Thibodeau says avoiding an accident Monday starts with having a clear head. Operating a boat is just like driving a car. Uh, no drinking and driving. He says wildlife and fisheries will also be on the water all Labor Day weekend long. Sylvia.